What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm just about to take a trade live with you guys just so that you can see my thought process behind entering a trade on the lower time frames. What I want to identify here is what the current market structure is doing, what the current behavior of the candle is doing and identifying some targets where we can expect price to go down to. So let's roll the intro and get started. So we're looking at this market structure on pound gen. We can clearly see the structure is down. We're creating levels in the market where price is currently failing to break above multiple wick projections. And as you can see here, we've had a strong bullish push to the upside and prices failed to maintain that bullish pressure. Now, the current state of this candle is more bearish than it is bullish. And what I want to see happen is this hourly candle end up closing bearish or what I want to see is a new hourly candle open to continue this bearish pressure to the downside. Now, in terms of what the actual structure is doing as targets, I want to see price getting down to some of these lows here so we can complete this push phase pullback lower high continuation. And if given the evidence, then we'll jump into this trade with that behind us. Plus, with these wick rejections, that will suffice. Now, how do we enter this trade based on all of that information we've gathered? Well, we need to go down to our lower time frames and see what the market is doing. You can see here we have a key level in the market where price is failing to break uh, above. Well, we're finally having the break now, so we'll hold that. Now, the behavior of this market could break above and break back in. That's completely fine. And this is also the key level where we know the market can react to. So if the market doesn't break back in, then what we'll wait for the market to do is get back to some of these structural highs. And then we'll look to take the trade there following this bullish pressure, turn bearish, and then looking to maintain that bearish pressure to the downside. The major structural targets are down here. So if we take a one to three trade up at these levels here, it will be completely fine. We have the trend in our favor and we have the structure of the market. So we're going to go in for this trade here now quite aggressively. So we've entered this trade on MT4 and we've got in at 135.986. Okay, almost bang on here. Very good. We've taken a four pip stop loss on this. So this is how our four pip stop loss would look. And then our targets back down to our break even one to one will be in and around these levels here. So as you can clearly see, we have that one to one and then our targets for our one to three is back down here. So you might say I've entered this aggressively. Well, no, not really. Um, well, I did say aggressively, but no, not really. What I've done here is identified a key level in the market where price was failing to break above. This is where the market broke above. It created a breakout huge strong wick to the upside and then we had this break back into structure this was a key level that i would have liked to work with as a nice double top for a continuation but if we break above that that does not mean we're bullish what we're going to be waiting for is for the market to get back to some key levels as you can see here and take the trade once we get the identifier mark that we're looking for whether it be a sell limit whether it be a sell stop whether it be a pin bar an engulfing candle whatever it is you trade and then we'll take it now i've gone in for what you might call a sell limit entry so i've gone in um, once price got back to this level trust in the process that the market will continue to respect this level as it has done in the past on the hourly time frame which is this level here so let's stretch it over and what i'm expecting the market to do is continue on with this new hourly candle with this bearish pressure from the previous behavior and see this market push down targets for this market i'm expecting it to get down here but if it doesn't it doesn't matter because look where my take profit is so we'll run this trade now once we get to um one to one i think we should have been at break even right now um, but we haven't now that price is coming back on us we have a little bit more evidence let me see this four pips and four pips yeah we should have probably been break even but for this uh illustration here i'm not going to go break even until it comes back down again give us another opportunity but we'll let this one run continue to watch it see how it works out for you confluences for this trade bear a structure down structural high key level in the market where we expect price to respect we expect the targets of this market to get down to some of these lows which we don't need it to we just need to hit take profit and now we've entered this trade so let's see what happens we'll pop this on mute and come back once we get to break even where's our break even mark so we'll go break even once price gets back down to some of these levels here, okay? So let's mark this level in here. And we'll mark this as our break even level. Okay, fantastic. Break even. And then obviously we all know this is our take profit level here. All right, let's see what happens.
So as you can see now, guys, we're now break even on this trade. We had a really nice push to the downside. We are having this retracement. It is just what it is. But we'll lock this in at break even and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll let you watch this and come back. So guys, you can see there's a lot of volatility right now. London has just opened, which means we're going to have a spike in either or direction, hoping that the market structure will follow and respect the overall structure of the higher time frames. Um, we have this key level. Price is not breaking above it. That's significant. And as you can see here, we're having this movement to the downside. So we survived our break even, which is very good. Now we just want to see the finish line and see price get back to the downside. So we'll either hit a break even trade on this occasion or it will be a winning trade. But uh, expected targets now is going to be back down to some of these lows before we have a reaction. So let's see what happens uh, for the finale here. So guys, when you see price doing this and bouncing up and down, don't fret, okay? Um, this is the one minute time frame. So a lot of these movements you're gonna see is just a fluctuation in the hourly candle. We know that the hourly candle right now is pushing bearish. And what we expect this candle to do is continue pushing bearish no matter what. So we'll just wait for the momentum to continue to kick in with this hourly candle. And then we'll go from there. At this moment in time, we can see it's reacting to some wick areas, but it is what it is. But we'll just wait it out and see what happens on the one minute time frame. Don't fret. Just wait patiently and just let the market do what it's doing. You've got a risk-free trade. It's at break-even. No sweat right now, okay? There you go, baby. Hit the bag on that one. Absolutely beautifully. And uh, we close this one at um, 135.84. So let's get this in here. 135.84 was the close on this. 135.84.7 to be precise. There you go. And then we had a four pip stop loss. So let's see where this was at. So we close this trade on MT4 with a very nice profit here of 3.48R. So a great trade. And as I said, don't fret when this happens. Just let it run out. This is actually the second trade I've taken today. I did take another one. Unfortunately, when recording it, um, I recorded over some background uh, noise that I was recording. But I will post this trade on this video so you can watch it right now. And you might just have to listen to some background music, okay? But enjoy that and just trust the process, guys. The whole trade was built up from the structure on the hourly time frame. Evidence here of this wick failing to close above bearish pressure, waiting for price to come back into a key level, taking that trade with confidence, and then riding it down just for one candle, single close. And as you can see, we absolutely destroyed it with 35 or 3.48% profit. 
Anyway, enjoy the next video with the background music. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe and until next time, take care.